Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Revenge of the Flying Dutchman PlayStation 2 as part of the SpongeBob Let's Play Marathon. In the last episode, we started Chum World. We took on the Midway Games area, which is the main area of the world. In this episode, we're going to enter the Big Top. And we're also going to do some Chum Putt later on. But basically, the main idea is we should be finished off with Chum World by the end of this episode. Plus, we move on to Goolagoon. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, Goolagoon is the final regular world of the game. It's the last world before the last world, essentially. So. It's the creepy castle, if you will, of this game, essentially. Although it's not creepy at all whatsoever. It's not a castle, for sure. I mean, there's sand castles, but eh. That's just spoiler territory at this point. Okay. Anyways. We have green jellyfish to start off with. Now, this, this uh, big top area is honestly one of my favorite areas in the entire game. Next to a certain area in Goolagoon that we'll begin to later. And, uh... I'm kind of debating on, like, what area of Chum World I'll be playing its music. Because I don't know, I don't think I'll be playing the, mu the music of Chum World for all of Chum World. Because I don't want you guys to hear the exact same song over and over again for the entire, for the entirety of this play, the playthrough of this level. But, I don't know. Again, stuff I'll be thinking about for in the future when I'm editing this Let's Play. So to get this doubloon, you just grab it, and then it kills the, the clown. <laughs> How funny is that? Is that like, was that like symbolism for capitalism or something like that? Just take the money away and then the clown dies? It reminds me, it reminds me of something. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's symbolizing that greed is wrong or something like that. I don't know. Of course, that, make just, that just makes Spongebob the greedy one, the one who wins, so... I just don't know how I feel about that message, honestly, whatever it was. Okay, so... You really gotta look around, because they have a lot of pink jellyfish in this area that they... that travel pretty ridiculous heights and come back down for a short time, so... It's very easy to miss them. But what is also easy to miss is the fact that, uh... There's a lot of Garys in the audience here. This 2D audience right here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I almost want to see like a boundary break of this game. Who else wants to see boundary break of this game? Like seriously, that'd be pretty awesome actually. I kind of want, I'm, I'm curious about this audience that's here in the big top. This pink jellyfish is one of those ones that's easy to miss. It just kind of goes up and down between uh, this thing and the um, big top area. Well, you know what I mean. It goes from level to level, essentially. We have a blue jellyfish here in this, uh, circle. We have another clown. And this is kind of funny, we've got these two clowns, like, firing outside, out of the cannons, so... I gotta feel bad for them, actually, if anything. I don't think they hurt, they even hurt you if you touch them, honestly. But, first things first, I'm gonna... Oh, dang it! Ah! Missed that jellyfish. Let's get this other one on top of the entrance here. Of course, this'll be our exit, so we just gotta make sure we know that later. Do you get hurt from these guys? No, they don't hurt you at all. They just go right through you. So I don't know what the point of that is. It's just to demonstrate the cruelty to clowns or something like that. I don't know. But as we learned in the Season 11 episode, do not feed the clowns. Or else you learn the hard way. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to get on this uh, uh, can here. Now, if there's one thing that the GameCube actually improved on, it was adding crosshairs to the cannons. Without the crosshairs, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Like, how am I supposed to know that I'm shooting, that I'm shooting directly at this target? But then again, the GameCube version also didn't have a target where that hook is. But basically, in the GameCube version, that hook was my target, so I already knew to shoot in the direction of that target. But this is not the only time you'll be using cannons, by the way. They, come, they become a lot more relevant towards the end of the game, actually. Actually, it's the last few words of the game that they become relevant. Okay. Oh, I think I... Oh, crap, I missed that jellyfish. Well, too late now. We're already making our way to the top of the big top. It's already too late for that. Too late. Okay, we won't be able to get to that jellyfish quite yet, but let's make our way over here. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah! That's right, audience. See, this audience is representation of you guys, the, you, the viewers watching this video. They're going, yay! Whenever I get on the, the swing successfully. Alright, uh, 
About... Okay, so let's go back here and get this jellyfish. This is how you're supposed to do it, essentially. Unless you want to waste your time jumping down here from below, from above to get to this jellyfish. You can if you want to, but I wouldn't do that. That's just a waste of time. Okay, let's grab this hook right here. Now I guess our doubloon... Our doubloon flare tile. Nice. Now we're starting to get really high up. Again, fortunately don't have fall damage this game, so it's not a big deal actually be this high up. But in real life, yeah, I'd be pretty terrified because I'm afraid of heights if I didn't make it clear enough. Well, of course, in Season 11, we learned that Spongebob's afraid of heights too. That's pretty cool. It's good to know I share a, a fear with my, ah, favorite cartoon Sponge. Sponge. Don't sponges absorb fear though? That's what I'm always wondering. Actually, I believe. Yep. You now have enough jellyfish for a layer. But more importantly, this swing right here, I don't know why, but I always have a lot of trouble with this thing. I don't know what how it works necessarily, but like I always fall through it the first few times I stand on it. I don't know what that is. But anyways, make sure you just land on this pipe right here, and then you can easily make your way up, back up to... If you, if you time it just right, you can jump onto this thing and actually use this platform to get back up to where the swing is. Okay. So otherwise, if you fall really far, yeah, you got to waste a lot of time to get back up to this where the swing is. But there we go. Made it back up to where it is. Thank you, guys. Thank you, viewers. <laughs> you guys seem pretty overjoyed about me just simply jumping onto a platform. Why can't you go yay whenever I collect a jellyfish? You know, something meaningful like that. All right, so you want to aim up, aim up at this target. So now lie to... Get to this layer tile right here. There we go. There's one more layer tile to get, and we'll be done with jelly with a uh, chum world at least for now. Uh, but I see you miss. I'm missing one jellyfish though in here. I'm pretty sure. Is that one? Uh... Oh no, that's the one that's at the very bottom, right? Okay. So let's not worry about that. Let's just. Uh... Okay. Okay. Here we go. Aw. You're supposed to yell like boo like whenever you fall to the bottom, but they only seem to do like in certain areas or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not even, not even in the PS2 version. I have no idea. Either way. Alright, um up next, uh oh yeah, we need to get that jellyfish. We need to get that jellyfish. What I missed. And he is yep, right there. Got my eye and you sucker. Come over here. Look at that jellyfish just teasing me. Okay, here it comes. I'm supposed to get right here. Yeah! Okay, with that, we should be done with the, with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the big top. Okay, now it's exit. Okay, so back outside the entrance of the Big Top, we're now going to make our way over to Chumput. I don't have much to say about Chumput, it's just, uh, just Chumput. What more is there to say? Chumput, 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 Chumput. How else can you put it? Okay, so what I like to do whenever I do chump putt is, uh, first of all, go through the entire area and get all the jellyfish and doubloons out of the way, and also activate all the um, mechanisms, because you want to you do that so that we can set things up for your chump putt game. Now, little do people know, there's actually a jellyfish inside the uh, goo here. And don't worry, this goo is harmless, simply because you can't, you know, sink down low enough to drown into it. It's, not, it's too shallow for you to drown in, so, that's, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, whenever you walk into like a certain uh, part of this area, it'll, you'll automatically activate the fireworks. So the fireworks are not random; they actually they de they depend on you walking in a certain area. So watch this. Wait. So I walk outside the area. Now walk inside. Then walk outside. Wait. Okay, walk inside again. Outside. Side. It's basically how it works, you know. It's just, it's just like there's like a square area, 
an invisible square area where it activates uh, ch uh, fireworks whenever you walk inside or outside of that area. If that makes any sense. Just happen to memorize where those specific areas are just because I've, again, 17 years playing this game. Tends to do stuff like that to ya. Okay, also up here we have more doubloons that are. Just kind of go out of your way to get them, and you get them. That's it. I'm just sure. Uh -huh. Alright, now. Over here. It's, there's just not much to say, you know, just going around collecting all these doubloons. You know, what else is there to say about it? Of course, to activate all these mechanisms, you're going to have to switch to. Uh, your reef blower costume, but you need to switch your reef blower costume anyways for the actual game of jump butt. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we should be getting up to all 314 doubloons in this area, so I'm going to have to make sure I have 314 by the time I'm done, with, done collecting all the balloons. All the balloons. Yes, all the balloons. Yeah, we'll definitely be finishing off Chum World as much as we possibly can in this episode. But, uh, yeah, I guess the next episode will be dedicated to the Lagoon. I'd hate to, like, have this LP be the exact same amount of episodes as the Kinky version was, but I don't know. I, I think I did the same, t I had the same time when I was doing the Kinky version anyway, so. Yeah, I'll say not much has changed since then. At least in terms of this game. But either way, we have one last jellyfish to get. This last one, all 40 jellyfish are now in our collection. After I get this one, that is. Come on. Come here. You know you want to be caught. Just come here. Oh my god, what the hell? This jellyfish, thank you. You pain my butt today, didn't you? Well, you failed. Okay, just uh, nine more doubloons, and I know exactly where they are. I just remembered. Okay, so I'm not worrying more, but uh, is there anything else? Nope, I guess not. So at this point, we're going to switch to our reef floor costume, and the last nine doubloons of Chum World will be achieved by playing Chum Putt. So let's get into our costume and get ready for this. The most epic game of a putt you'll ever see. Do I just roll around to play this game? I can do that. The object of Chum Putt is to roll this ball to the top of the course. But you've got to hit all the goals along the way. So, do you want to give it a try? Let's get this ball rolling. Honestly, SpongeBob can push a ball, but whatever. Nope, we need the reef blower for that. So each time you hit a goal, you get a doubloon, and there are nine goals. That's why I'm not worried anymore, because I know that there are nine goals and thus nine doubloons. So that means that we will get all the doubloons by the end of this game. So, there we go. Now, the Genki version really messed up the, the hills in this game of chun -Putt. Just another reason why I prefer the PS2 version now. After playing this version, because, like, in this game... The hills actually work with the with the ball. It, the ball doesn't actually fight with you to go up hills. And that's something I love about this version. If I had made that quite clear already. Basically, basically the ball going uphill physics works better in this game, as an unprofessional way of putting it. Okay. Just touch that cap it nicely. There we go. And now we're going to get through this uh, plankton's mouth here. Get this one. There's five goals remaining. All right. Now, whatever you do, don't take this path. Just don't do it. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the risk. Just take the ball around the building. There's even an arrow pointing to the left to tell you to take the ball across on the on the side of the building. So you have no reason not to. Just makes the makes all the more sense. Come on. There we go. No, no, no. We're not going around the tires. We're going to instead go onto this goal right here. And we're going to activate this pinwheel, which will slide this platform over for us, make it to a bridge for the ball to roll across. Now, if the ball falls into the goo, 
Um, you'll get a tip saying that your ball fell down the drain. Basically what that means is it'll teleport down to um, where the, the goo drains at the bottom of the course. So, yeah, you don't want that to happen. Really don't want that to happen. Okay, ball. Let's play ball. Okay, not that kind of ball. Just the kind of balls I like. <laughs> okay. Hit that target there. I said hit that target there. Thank you. Okay. So I mentioned a few episodes ago that uh, I'm, I should be in the market for getting more ti new tires because that's what the people at uh, Valve... Uh, Valvoline told me, so I'm still kind of considering that at this point, but I just, I just don't know. It's like my car had no problem like getting through the past couple winters with the... Then again, the well, thing is that, yeah, I haven't changed my tires out in a couple years, but still. I just think that maybe they'd be just fine. Because, like, I don't really have to... Most people have to commute, like, like an hour or so to get to work, but I only have to commute, like, 15 minutes, actually. And there's not a lot of turns involved in my commute to work, so honestly, I'm not too worried about the... Drive in the ice and snow, honestly. Kind of looking forward to seeing, to watching it actually from outside my, from inside my apartment. You know, inside the comforts of my apartment. Okay, we go. And last goal, and last doubloon. Here we go. There we go. We won Chumputs, and with that, Chum World is now 100% complete, with the exception of Catch Plankton if you can. And in order to unlock Catch Plankton if you can, we have to complete Goolagoon first. And so, we're going to be doing that uh, now, I guess. We're only up to 18 minutes of recording. That's before all the cutting. So, everyone, let's head outside Chum World. Because there is no more business for us to do here. With the exception of uh, come back for Plankton later. Okay, so in collecting all of the jellyfish in Chum in Chum World, that means we have a total a game total right now of 67 jellyfish. 167 if you count the jellyfish returning in for the jellyfish contest. But needless to say, you have 17 you have a 17 jellyfish margin of error for getting access to Goolagoon. And also at this point we have 1177 doubloons. So we got about 500 left in the entire game. It's not surprising at all, honestly. So, to get back to Bikini Bomb, take the Bikini Bomb Ferry. Sup, Larry? For the last time, I'm not giving away my extra bus ticket. I'm not here for your measly ticket, Larry. No, I was just taking a long stroll to think of all the ways I can use these jellyfish. There's jellyfish jam and jellyfish jambalaya, candy jellyfish and jelly pot pie, tentacle twist and jelly pops. I can't stand it anymore. Take the bus ticket and hand over those jellyfish. Or maybe we are eating jellyfish. That's pretty much what it sounded like. Well... Let's take the bus ticket and never speak of this again. Because now, friends, we have access to Goolagoon. Just so happens the bus stop is also right here. So, I will uh, enter Goolagoon. And we'll check out the world before we end off this episode. Let's go. Goolagoon, the sand, the surf. There is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. They took that voice clip directly from Employee of the Month. <laughs> Okay, so check this out. In the uh, GBA, or not the GBA version, the Genki version, this guy was really dark. But here, it's actually nice. It's actually bright out like it should be. And I love that. Of course, it shouldn't be, it should be like darker over there, but we'll get more into that later. As my catchphrase of this LP goes. <laughs> so anyways, in Goolagoon, you have sand dollars to collect, and this time they're just lying around. You don't have to pick them up as tips or anything, which makes me wonder. How could there be money just lying around everywhere? I mean, like, doubloons I can understand, because, like, it's the Dutchman's doubloons. So maybe there's, like, curse or something. Nobody else can pick them up but us, but... Sand dollars? Really? People just leave it lying around? These are $10 bills, by the way. 
So, I'm having a hard time believing people lie, leave this many sand dollars lying around. But either way, we'll just kind of explore this, uh, in this area before we uh, end things off here and uh, ruin this child's dreams. Uh, poor kid. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty tra looking pretty traumatized there. I'm sorry, kid. I totally ruined your life. And with that, on that note, everyone, we're gonna end things off here. So next time on Revenge of Flying Dutchman PlayStation 2, we will finish our adventure through Goo Lagoon. Well, more like continue, cause uh, yeah, there's a lot to do here. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I'd like to give a special shout out to currently my only patron, JC the Texas Scratcher. If you like what you see, consider supporting me on Patreon and subscribing and clicking like button for notifications. See you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye.